God has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I had 10,000 times, it still wouldn't be enough. I see a candle, we say, Nareke Lemon. Chuku Narote when you heal, you heal completely. Nareke Lemon. What shall I render to my father? Nara Narae Narekele Narekele Receive all my praise, my Lord Jesus Narekele Nara na 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 God has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I had ten thousand times, it still won't be enough. When you heal, you heal completely. Bring it up. What shall I render to my father? For he has done so very much for me. How can I thank him for his goodness? For he has done so very much for me. Nara nara e narekele narekele mo. Nara nara na nara nara e narekele narekele mo. Yes, receive all my praise, my Lord Jesus. You deserve it all. Receive, 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 receive all my praise, my Lord Jesus. You deserve it all. Greetings, amazing people. It's a beautiful day. The Lord has made will rejoice and be glad in it. Ain't this a Tuesday? It's a Tuesday, guys. And I forgot. Oh, I needed to get some things, but I forgot to go to the market today. A lot was going on with me. I was um I was trusting God, I was praying, I was believing, but you know that time when you pray and then it's like, oh God, hope you're really going to come true for me. I know prayer works, but you just, you just have to do this. You know, that kind of stuff, you know, that's basically what happened to me today. And like God has been saying for the past weeks, it would end up in praise. No matter what happens, it will end up in praise. And there's one thing I want to tell us guys, 
God never fails. When you're in the spirit, when you're in the place of prayer, when you're communing with God, there is just a perfect truth that he will show you some things beforehand. I don't even know why I didn't mention it to the people that were concerned. I should just have mentioned it, but I felt like, well, God was just telling me because there are some things that when God tells you, even when you're praying about it, you still need to talk to the people so that they should, um, how can I put it? So that they should also be um, aware and and to be in check. Like they should put themselves in check. Maybe there are people that are just reckless. They just do things anyhow. And then God needs them to be um, um, to be careful, to be cautious. If you don't tell them, they won't be intentionally cautious. But if you tell them, they'll be cautious intentionally. Even if they're not people who like to be cautious, they'll get to be a little bit um, cautious with the kinds of things they do and the kinds of um, people they connect with, the kinds of places they go to. But if you don't tell them, they won't be able to make that, that um, conscious decision and stuff. I thank God, though, God was still merciful because if I told the people, things would have probably been better. But I felt uncomfortable telling them, so I didn't. And they almost got into some really serious, I mean, like, serious, serious, I mean, it wasn't funny. It wasn't just funny at all. So I still want to thank God. I want to appreciate him for, for seeing us through, like, who would have, who, it would have been worse. It would have been worse. It would have been worse. I remember how the enemy started throwing a repeat scenario, something that happened before and said, this is a repeat. I'm like, you are crazy. You are stupid to even think I'll believe that you are just daft devil. Like sometimes you need to call him out and tell him straight up. You're joking. You're you are, the enemy is daft. Honestly, he's daft. It's just that sometimes it, it feels like he takes you unaware. So before you want to catch yourself, you've already gotten there then. But the good thing is that catch yourself. Whenever it is, how long ever it takes for you to catch yourself, catch yourself. God will love you too. Once you realize yourself, tell that bastard you are you are just trying. You doubt the wrong. You don't even have enough airtime credit to make this call. Just pass. Just pass pack fine like god is just too faithful he has done too too much for me too much i really cannot tell it all so guys welcome once again if you're just tuning in this is a chapter a day your favorite audio bible creation program and bible study program and on here we get to know who we are in christ the power we possess the things we can and cannot do so that we can live a beautiful christian life here on earth and glorify our father who is in heaven in the end and end up living with him in heaven heaven in view that's the whole idea yes we want to end up in heaven but we want to live the kingdom life here on earth that's why we pray the lord's prayer and say that kingdom come that will be done on earth right so yeah if we're praying that prayer we should mean it from the bottom of our hearts so we're expecting that when we pray like that god is truly going to ask us and if he has to answer us it means that he's going to bring his kingdom down right oh yeah so that's how it works. So let's get on with the Bible party. Our Bible party for today is taken from the book of Esther chapter 9. And I'm not sure how many verses it has. I didn't check it out. I normally check before the day, just the number of verses. But the Holy Spirit told me not to check some other things. So this one has 32 verses. Esther chapter 9 has 32 verses. Like this, this is the longest of the Esthers, the chapters. This is the longest chapter we've read so far. I think the first one had 22 or 20 something there about. And then the rest started having 17s, 14s and stuff like that. This is the longest, like 32. Interesting. Okay, guys. So let's pray and hand over the session to God. Do the birthday party. And then we'll get right on to the Bible party while we're here today. Right? I know a lot of you always come here just for the Bible studies, but it's fine. That's fine too. At least you even come, which is a good thing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Like I really, really do appreciate it from the depth of my heart that you all make out time to come here. Some people don't come at the same time that we're having it. They come later on and they read and put out comments. And I really, really do appreciate it because those comments also help me when i read them there are some things that the holy spirit is teaching me personally 
that I don't know that I've not um, understood yet you know so I'm really really grateful thank you so so very much thank you all for always coming through and always standing with me and always sharing what the Holy Spirit is also giving you all on the subject or on the chapter or for whatever reason you know sometimes it might just be a comment that we need that will bring transformation for us it might be something that someone read during their quiet time it's not even like exactly a chapter a day and stuff but god wanted us to hear it so um tomorrow is going to be the last chapter of esther and then we're going to be going to job i love the book of job i love the book of job very much a lot of things there to learn so let's go let's go i've never really read the book of esther like this seriously like we've done so this is also helping me guys it's not just you all that are learning and growing because some people say i said i i say i've gone through the bible i think two times so this will be like the third time that i'm going through the bible but there are some things that are just totally new to me every day and it's it, it makes sense because i used to wonder how the pastors keep preaching and it's like every single time they have a different message entirely and i'm wondering like how is it possible these people should have been tired or they should start repeating messages now but they're not repeating every time they come there is like some new rumor it's like there's a way that the minister that the true servants of God, there's a way that the minister that it gets to it gets to you differently. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. That's how it works, guys. Okay, guys. Welcome, Mom Love You Both. Thank you for coming. God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I'm always glad to have you here. Welcome, one of my students to our chat. Thank you for coming. God bless you as well. Sabadika. Okay, so let's go. Let's pray and then let's get on with the birthday party. Father, we thank you for this day you've made rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you because we've come to your presence again for you to feed us. We want to dine and sup with you. And we know that when we come, it's always a balanced diet. Lord, feed us, oh God, with the best of the nutrients and all that we need to grow and be the best versions of ourselves that you created us to be and fulfill purpose totally and completely. Lord, I pray, O oh God, let your goodness and your glory and your mercy be seen through our lives, O oh God, in our lives, around our lives, O oh God, working for us, in us, and around us, so that people will be able to say of a truth, this one's as serving a living God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because I know you always hear an answer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because I know you've done it. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Increase while I decrease, so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, and heard. In Jesus' name I pray. And all the saints shall say a big Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's get to the birthday party. Today we have Mr. Peter Tumfoyen. Mr. Peter Tumfoyen, we actually met on social media, and we get to talk from time to time. And for the most part, he encourages me on the things I do. Princess, just keep doing what you're doing, okay? You are blessing lives. It might not look like it right now. Yeah, that's how some people always tell me. It might not look like it right now. You know why they do that? Because truth be told, when I just started, when I didn't really have an understanding, when I just started, I, I, was, feeling, I was feeling really down i was not just feeling encouraged at all it's like, like i'll come here some days i'm literally talking to myself like yeah so it's like i'm online i'm live and it's just me it's just me there's nobody in the live stream and i'm like god this is not what we back in for like how is that viral thing gonna happen is it like this with me talking to myself literally little would I, how would i have thought how would i have known that today somebody will be watching this thing. I created this. We started this thing 2021. There's somebody who is watching it now every single day. Minister Matt. She watches it every single day. If I didn't obey, maybe we created it just for her. I'm just saying, for example, maybe we did this thing just for her. We did the Bible party just for her. God had already seen that he, he needed her to come and be listening or to come and be watching. And so we needed to create it. And then I'm bothered about her not being available at the time. God was still preparing her. 
at the time to come and watch it later so if i didn't put it there now she'll come she'll not have the thing available you know so if i only kept worrying about how many people were watching how many people were liking how many people were sharing i'll probably have and i would have probably stopped a long time ago so when these people say it doesn't look like it right now they know what they're talking about because they know that sometimes once in a while reality will just kick in and you will be looking at it like but God, we've done this for over a year. I said, I've been going live. I was talking to one of my friends and, and they were saying, oh, what do I want to go and do? I said, I'm, oh, I'm busy. I'm about to go live and everything. And then they were like, oh, must you go live? I said, yeah, I've been going live consistently like for a year plus, almost two years now. And the person was like, huh? I can imagine the traction you have on your page. I'm like, track what? <laughs> Please. You know what I'm doing every day on my page. I'm preaching the gospel and you and I will know now. We know the truth. We know the reality about the gospel. Our people are not just so like that. But God is going to make people the people. He says in the last days, he's going to put the church on the mountaintop and people are going to run to it. It's, it's just like that. So just keep at it. If God has given you an assignment and it doesn't look like it right now, it looks like people are not just, no, don't worry. It's preparing you. When the time will come, you're surely being the one who pick ball. Now you will surely pick ball run. Your bed draw. Like God, okay, okay, leave us soon. I don't hear now. See, I do one pass my power. Ebe, hey, don't big pass me. No. You literally pick that ball and run on your bed draw. <laughs> Anyways. So guys, let's go. So Mr. Peter Tumfo was one of is one of those persons that when he always gets an opportunity, he encourages me. And then the next person is Mam Novella Bumo. Mam Novella Bumo is one of my classmates and a very good friend as well she sings very well she has a really great voice she has a cute smile anyway sicaris are actually blessed with gorgeous smiles i don't know whether god just decided to create sicaris like that or i don't know it just feels like it's a thing that is natural to them they can just smile for the world oh yeah i know what i'm talking about i know a lot of them i am one of them anyways you'll be like what you're secret yes i am i was for five years all of my secondary school life was in sicker baptist college so that's why i knew my um, novella bumu she's a very calm and composed person she doesn't talk much but when she does oh she speaks a lot of sense a lot of rema so much wisdom and she's always very calm when she talks very pretty and very lovely a great mother a great wife and a great friend too Happy birthday to you, dearest. And then the next person is Mr. Mba Charles. Mr. Mba Charles, I going to know him when I was in high school. And uh, was he in the arts? Of the, no, he was in the arts department. And he's a very fun to be with person. Oh, my God. He can make you literally laugh your hearts out. He is so nice. He is so nice. Such a nice person. Very friendly. Very caring. And, of course very great at making people laugh he he just can turn every dull moment into a very lively one he's that kind of person i remember when he got added to and then we disconnected after high school uh i don't know how but a lot of us just went to different places we're just scattered like all over the place and then we reconnected again on the student on our ex-student association platform so i'm a chopper I'm a secretary chopper. So um, we reconnected again on our ex student platform. And when he just got into the group, oh my God, he just started making fun. Like I just knew, I knew he was the one. Like they introduced him with, I don't think they introduced him with his name. They introduced him with his nickname. We, I, I couldn't, I really couldn't remember his nickname you know so they introduced him with his nickname so when he just started making some jokes and everything i was just like i know this is the person and then when i wanted to check i wasn't i wasn't wrong at all he's a fun to be with person and then the last but not the least is mom maricol mom maricol is actually one amazing person that we got connected to 
uh, we I got connected to her through a mutual friend. The good thing about her is that she loves God. The next best thing about her is that she's a media personality. I just love media. <laughs> so anybody who is in the media department, who is in the media or the entertainment industry, like they are my buddy buddies. Like I just like to connect with those people because I learn a lot from them. And the good thing, another really nice thing is that she speaks French so fluently. Oh my God. Sometimes I wish like I could speak French like that. <laughs> I try, I try though, but not that, not that much. I don't speak that much French. So, um, I'm very grateful to you all. She's also one of those persons that really encourages me. She has a YouTube channel. She, she also, um, goes live on Facebook on their TV station. I think if I'm not mistaken. So guys, you can go there and watch and tell me for yourself that she's really good. She's really, really good. And so I connect with the good people so that I can get to be one of those good persons. That's what I believe. Oh. When you connect with the right set of people, you become one of them. So I love media. I love everything entertainment. I love everything media. And so when I see media people, I just do the best I can to connect to them. And this one, we connected on the mutual friends post, Mom Amy Banda. And we'll become great, great, great friends. God bless you, ma'am. So, once again, happy birthday to Mr. Peter Tumpo and happy birthday to Mam Bumu Novella. Happy birthday to Mr. Mba Charles. Happy birthday to Mam Maricola. Happy birthday to all these amazing people. So, we are getting straight to our Bible party shortly after the prayers. Bible party, Esther, chapter 9, and it has 32 verses if you didn't read before time don't freak out we always read it first which is like creating the audio bible before we go on to actually study the chapter together okay so it's time for us to pray father we thank you for all all these amazing people who were born today, we pray that you open the windows of heaven and pour out the churches of your blessings upon their lives, O oh God, and rebuke every devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you make them pacers, wall changers, and trailblazers in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them all that it takes to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, cause them to not only get to the top, but to get there and stay there permanently. Teach them all the strategies and techniques that are needed to do just that. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and progress and divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I also pray this day, decree and declaring, oh God, that their their lives are going to be a blessing in this generation, oh God. Father, even as you bless them, let these blessings encompass them as the shield round about, so no weapon formed the fashion against them shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against them, you shall condemn in judgment. Lord, I pray, oh God, anyone who comes around them with an evil thought will be dealt with by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Build a hedge of protection around them. Let your Holy Ghost fire burn around them 247. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you cause them to increase in wisdom and start you getting favor before God and before men. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're also going to cause them to, their path to keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And Lord, you're also going to open doors to them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Open their eyes and their understanding to see those they're supposed to be destined to help us to. Let them help these people duly. When the time is right and however possible it is, Lord, I pray that you're also going to strategically position their own destiny helpers all around them, east, west, north, and south. That when they also cry out for help, help is going to be made available and instant for them, O oh Lord. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to bless whatever the lady hands on. Let it prosper. You're the one who teaches one to make wealth. And you teach their fingers to fight and their hands to battle. Lord, we just thank you for your word, oh God. We pray that anyone who comes in contact with them because of the overflow of the blessings, they'll literally rub off of the blessings and enjoy the blessings of God upon the lives of these amazing people. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Abba Father, because we know you always hear and answer. There is none like you. There is none who can be compared unto you, God. Take all the glory. Take all the honor and adoration because you deserve it. Be thou exalted, O oh God, now and forevermore. You deserve all our praise, both now and forevermore. 
There is none like you in all the earth. You are the great God. You are the mighty Father. You are the everlasting Father. You are worthy to receive all glory. Lord, take preeminence for now forevermore because you deserve it. Father, I pray, O oh God, that wherever the trade that fit upon you, give it to them as a possession. Lord, that wherever the, the walk, O oh God, you're going to guide and lead them, perfect all that concerns them, and give them a sound 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, dancing, and rejoicing. And if you tarry to come, O oh God, this will be their best birthday yet, and they'll come on this particular event, this particular show, life again, same time next year, to glorify your name for blessing them and making it possible for them to be born this year. Lord, and to live till next year. Lord, I pray that you're going to grant them many, many more beautiful and successful years to the glory of your name. Thank you, King of Heaven, because we know you've heard and answered. We seal every prayer request with the blood of Jesus. We also pray, O oh God, that you're going to cover them perfectly for your glory. Lord, that they'll fulfill purpose. If they get to a place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way, walk down it, and they'll walk perfectly in that part. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, God of wonders beyond the galaxy, because we know you always hear and answer us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All the people say amen, but I sing the amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives, amen. Let it be so. Amen. In their lives, as we pray, let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives, amen. As we have prayed, amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. May the good Lord bless you all tremendously. And may He fill your bands with all good things and enlarge your coast. I always get to say, I love you very, very much, but God loves you way, way more. Have a blast. Okay, guys, so let's go. It's Bible party time. Let's get the Bible party started. Okay. Let me adjust. Ready? Esther chapter 9. Now in the 12th month, that is the month Adar, on the 13th day of the same, when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in execution, in the day that the enemies of the Jews hoped to have power over them, them, though it was turned to the contrary, that the Jews had rule over them that hated them. The Jews gathered themselves together in their cities throughout all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus to lay hand on such as sought their hurt, and no man could withstand them, for the fear of them fell upon all the people. And all the rulers of the provinces, and the lieutenants, and the deputies, and officers of the king helped the Jews, because the fear of Mordecai fell upon them. For Mordecai was great in the king's house, and his fame went out throughout all the provinces. For this man Mordecai waxed greater and greater. Thus the Jews smote all their enemies with a stroke of the sword, and slaughter, and destruction, and did what they would unto those that hated them. And in Shushan, the palace, the Jews slew and destroyed five hundred men, and Pashadathar, and Dalphon, and Aspathar, and Poratha, and Adalia, and Aridatha, and Pam. Parmashta, and Arisai, and Aridai, and Vajazata, the ten sons of Heman, the sons of Hamidata, the enemy of the Jews, slew they, but on the spoil laid they not their hands, 
On that day, the number of those that were slain in Shushan, the palace, was brought before the king. And the king said unto Esther the queen, The Jews have slain and destroyed five hundred men in Shushan, in the palace, and the ten sons of Haman. What have they done in the rest of the king's provinces? Now what is thy petition, and it shall be granted thee? Or what is thy request further, and it shall be done? Then Esther said, If it please the king, let it be granted to the Jews which are in Shushan, to do tomorrow also according unto this day's decree, and let Haman's ten sons be hanged upon the gallows. And the king commanded it so to be done, and the decree was given at Shushan, and they hanged Haman's ten sons. For the Jews that were in Shushan gathered themselves together on the fourteenth day also of the month Adar, and slew three hundred men at Shushan, but on the prey they laid not their hand. But the other Jews that were in the king's provinces gathered themselves together, and stood for their lives, and had rest from their enemies, and slew of their foes seventy and five thousand, but they laid not their hands on the prey. On the thirteenth day of the month Adar, and on the fourteenth day of the same, rested day, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. But the Jews that were at Shushan assembled together on the thirteenth day thereof, and on the fourteenth day thereof, and on the fifteenth day of the same, they rested, and made it a day of feasting and gladness. Therefore the Jews of the villages that dwelled in the unwalled towns made the fourteenth day of the month of Adar a day of gladness and feasting and a good day and of the sending portions one to another and Mordecai wrote these things and sent letters unto all the Jews that were in all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus both nigh and far to establish this among them that they should keep the fourteenth day of the month Adar and the fifteenth day of the same yearly as the days wherein the Jews rested from their enemies, and the month which was turned unto them from sorrow to joy, and from mourning into a good day, that they should make them days of feasting and joy, and of sending portions one to another, and gifts to the poor. And the Jews undertook to do as they had begun, and as Mordecai had written unto them, because Haman the son of Hamidata, the Agagite, the enemy of all the Jews, had devised against the Jews to destroy them, and had cast pure, that is, the lot, to consume them, and to destroy them. But when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his son should be hanged on the gallows. Wherefore they call these days Purim, after the name of Pure. Therefore, for all the words of this letter, and of that which they had seen concerning this matter, and which had come unto them, the Jews ordained and took upon them, and upon their seed, and upon all such as joined themselves unto them, so as it should not fail, that they would keep these two days according to their writing, and according to their appointed time every year, and that these days should be remembered and kept throughout every generation, every family, every province, and every city, and that these days of purity should not fail from amongst the Jew, nor the memorial of them perish from their seed. Then Esther the queen, the daughter of Abihel, and Mordecai the Jew, wrote with all authority to confirm this second letter of Purim. And he sent the letters unto all the Jews, to the hundred twenty and seven provinces of the kingdom of Ahasuerus, with words of peace and truth, to confirm these days of Purim in their times appointed, according as Mordecai the Jew and Esther the queen had enjoined them, and as they had decreed for themselves and for their seed, the matters of the fasting and their cry, and the decree of Esther confirmed these matters of Purim, and it was written in the book. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints shall say a big thanks be to God. So what did you learn? Guys, what did you learn? 
Okay, so the time came and all that was supposed to be performed was performed. The the interestingly, Mordecai actually told them that um after they've dealt with the people they can take the spoil, but they were not taking the spoil, they were not touching even the prey. Like I don't know. Maybe the people just felt like, oh, those people's things are just going to soil us. You see? So sometimes they might still give you some things. As much as you you were given the authority to take them, you might decide. Maybe your spirit mind is going to tell you, don't take this one. There are some gifts that you just don't take. Um, remember, is it Uzar? Or oh, this other guy. What was that his name again? I've forgotten his name, but he was actually um the one who was he was like following Elisha, I think, or Elijah. No, he was following Elisha. And he became leper because um, they brought some gifts to Elijah and he said he was not going to take the gifts. Hope I'm not mixing it up. But one of those two people, I don't know if it's Elijah or Elisha. I might just get it mixed up a little bit. But somebody brought him a gift and he refused to take the gift. And this guy followed the person and went back to go and collect the gift and he became leprous for the rest of his days there are some gifts that are more as much as their gifts you shouldn't take them it's not every gift that somebody's giving you that is a good thing for you <laughs> child of god you better be aware know this and no peace and save yourself all the wahala not every gift that people are giving you is a gift so trust me when god tells you he says take this thing away Throw it away. They gave you this one. Throw it away. My friend said they bought her one, like a big pack of biscuits. And she really loved biscuits. And it was kind of like her favorite biscuit. And God told her to throw it away. She couldn't believe it. She was like, what? God, are you kidding me? Like, is this a joke? No. There have been some things that God has also told me to do. Some things I had that God told me to give away that were given to me. I was like, what? Like, God, what's going on? And like, he said, you have to give them away. I was totally and completely taken aback. Like I was shocked, you know. So when God is telling you something, just obey. God knows the end from the beginning. He said, follow who Sabi wrote. God Sabi wrote. Why am I always saying that God Sabi wrote? Because he knows the end from the beginning. And so he knows exactly what is going to happen. And that's why he's telling you that let go of these things. There might be some gifts that people give you that God will tell you that don't take it. Believe me, there will be times that you would so desperately need that thing they're giving you. But God knows that that's not the one that he wants to give you. He wants to give you something better or bigger. And so he's telling you that don't take this fake one. This one is just a flashy thing. This one is just a distraction from the enemy. Don't, don't touch it. But some of us, we fall for it. We fall for the flashy, flashy devil kind of thing because we have been waiting. We think we have been waiting for too long and we can't just wait anymore. You've come this far. You waited this far. Why not just wait patiently and get what God really has for you? Why give the devil a foothold? Just wait, child of God. Don't give up. God is never late. He's the God of the eleventh hour. He's always on time. He is always on time. Please, let's not try to, to, to box God inside our timing. God is not limited by time and space. He can do anything with a flip of his finger. Joseph was a prisoner one minute and the same day before 24 hours, he became governor. The very next in command to the king. It can only be God, child of God. It can only be God. He didn't go through political science school. He didn't go to any this and no. All the places he went to, there were practicals that he was doing. He was doing practical leadership wherever he went. Wherever he went, they gave him leadership position because the power of God was upon his life. The power of God was upon his life and he could do the things. So the Jews gathered themselves together. They dealt with these people, collected, did, um, I mean, they finished them all. And it looks like that decree was made just in Shushan originally. I see your chair. <laughs> it looks like that thing was made um, only in Shushan. So, like in the province, the bigger province. But it looks like when they were done, so now they said, okay, we'll do again. The king, see, the king so loved Esther. Esther had so 
people gained favor in the king's side that it was the king that was even pushing her to do things so they decided to send that decree only to the main like the big big provinces and then when they had finished dealing with the big provinces they brought a report and came and gave the king the king gave to esther and asked her that what next do you want like this man had seen something that people were not seeing or probably god had shown him something spiritually that other people could not understand and what was this all brought about because esther had a relationship with god esther was obedient esther was submissive so whatever god was telling him per time to do that's what she was doing and that's why it was gaining her favor continuously in the sight of the 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 king so much so that it was the king who was pushing her to keep asking for things Esther will not just sit and just be asking for things like some of us women you would ask your partner all kinds of things this is Christmas season you begin to put them under undue pressure they're already on a lot of pressure from the world in general as in being a man whatever that thing means it annoys me to the core being a man there are human beings before being men for crying out loud they're human beings. So some of you put your, your, your partners under undue pressure because of competition, because of looking here, looking there. You want this, you want that because your noble sister has it, because your neighbor's wife has it. Because, ah, child of God. The Bible says they that compare themselves to themselves are not wise. You're not a wise woman. They say a wise woman builds a house, doesn't destroy it. Are you a wise woman? Are you a wise woman? Hmm. Child of God, it is important to it is important to be a wise woman so that you can build your house, not, not destroy it. It is important. Anyways, so they go ahead and is the king that is only asking and saying they destroyed and destroyed and destroyed the king's asking esther okay they are finished with these people what should they do what should they do more and the esther say would he wipe out that him and the old generation when they play ah. it's like esther had gotten a hold of she had gotten an understanding of the blank check thingy <laughs> i mean that she had gotten a perfect understanding of the I love these people because sometimes in this our generation will make like parties and events are bad things. They're not bad things though. In those days, when God gives you victory, you celebrate, you rejoice, you dance, you enjoy, you do the right things. Do the do the right kind of celebration. Let me put it that way. Be happy, be merry, be glad. They had to set out two days for these people to rest and relax just because of what God what God did for them. And they said they had to keep it for a memorial. Tell me about how past glories can lead you to stay stagnant in a place. And as much as past glory can also encourage you to be your best. When you see the things that God had done for the children of Israel and you tell them the story and all that. You'll be able to really be like, I've done something great. Like God did something great in my time. And when these people know that this is what God did for our fathers, for our forefathers then god will do it for us too so most of these testimonies and some of those things that they were kept that people needed to know people needed to keep in check was because they wanted people to know that if god has done it for this set of people if god had done it for everybody before he would do it again he's a god who cannot fail he's a god who cannot change but can change things so trust and believe that God is going to do it for you too. And so they went and hung Herman's family. The entire family. You know how when God says you make your plans and then the plans backfire on you. This is not the first time God has been doing this kind of thing in the Bible. He did it in, Ahit in Ahitophel's case. Ahitophel gave counsel and it backfired. He has done it in many people's cases. Like, like God has done it too many times we can't count in the Bible. Where people plan evil things against the children of God, against people of God, and it backfired. They were the ones who ended up suffering. Sometimes some people have to end up suffering. As much as we desire that people should repent and come to the saving knowledge of God, there are some people who 
who have literally made up their minds and God knows in their hearts of hearts that they've made up their minds that they, they ain't going nowhere. So God will give those kinds of people for your sake too. He says he will give nations for your sakes. It's not about killing people. They, there are some people that will just have to go for you. Oh yeah. All you need to do is stay in right standing with God. Stay with that right connection with God. And you'll see what God will do. And so the people celebrated. They danced and did everything. Like they waited. You see, so if they did not give a counter um, a counter letter, these people would have been slaughtered and massacred. Because they waited until that day, but they had the opportunity because another letter had also come that they should fight back. They should defend themselves. And they defended themselves perfectly. And the deputies and the chiefs actually supported them. It gets us who they back you in eh? matter for fighting. When they fight battle, when you go war front, it gets us it be, they get confident for who they back you. Who they back you up? Now God they back me up. Oh. Now God they back me up. So when I go they fight battle, I know who they back me up. And I get faith there. Eh? It will save me. I got faith, guys. I got faith that God will save me. I got faith that God will hear me. I got faith that God will promote me. They said Mordecai's fame had spread abroad. I'm sure it was word of mouth. It's not Mordecai who when I was bragging like Kema who brag. It's people were saying that, oh, you see that man Mordecai? He started from the ghetto. He, you know, that small, small, you just go small, small, so bam, now he's the closest to the king. Next to the king. If you say pim pim, you're gone. It, <laughs> oh my God. That's how they say when you see somebody who has wise counsel, connect with the person. The king had seen that Esther's wise counsel kept coming to pass, you know. But there are some men in this our generation. They cannot listen to their partner. So they cannot listen to a lady. They, they've categorized ladies as people. But this was a king. This was a king and he was a wise king because most of the times when they told him some things from the way they, re they reported, it showed that he thought about it and everything. So this is a wise king and he's listening to his wife over and over and over and over. At some point, he's even the one begging his wife to say things. He's even the one begging his wife to request for things. But our generation, hmm. So I'm gonna tell you like, ah, she's a woman. What can she know? What can she do? What does she know? Don't estimate the, don't underestimate the power of a praying woman. Never. Maybe just a woman. Okay, you can be trying one, 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 one time. But the power of a praying woman, never underestimate it. Just never. Let nothing ever deceive you to underestimate the power of a praying woman. Like you lose a whole lot. You will just lose a whole freaking lot. And we don't want that to happen. So the king had already seen and then he was just giving them. So now it was basically like it was Esther and Mordecai who were ruling the kingdom. <sighs> when God don't favor you, put you for some place, use your power for good. Don't abuse power. That's what was happening to Mordecai. And that's why the people were rejoicing. The people were happy. The people were not getting bitter. The people were not getting irritated. Because they could see Naaman's good, Mordecai's good work. They could see Herman's bad attitude. Some people were just waiting for him to be dealt with. <laughs> and we remember the other day that that Chamberlain just said everything. I mean, adding salt to injury. It's like a... This hammer is already falling. He did say the one way, eh, he don't reach so no. He never a rich king fine for really, really make a made man for your for go, go, go. Mm -hmm. So, eh, I'll add this one. So that it should completely disappear. <laughs> and then he added, and they killed her man. When you abuse power, there are consequences. When you use power for the purpose for which God assigned it to you, there are also rewards. So, child of God, don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. You've come too, too far. Too far to give up. 
You've come too far to back out. You've come too far to give in. You've come too far to just hang in the towel. Don't give up. Hang in there. Help is on its way. Help is on its way. If God has done it for people, He'll do it for you. If God has changed the course of things for people, He'll change the course of things for you. Lord, help us this day in all that we do and say. That we'll be able to serve you. We'll be able to lean on you. We'll be able to rely on you, O oh God. Father, I pray that every single time that we come here to preach the gospel, it's not going to be anything about us. It's going to be all about you. Totally and completely. To the glory of your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints shall say, Jainamus, A, Amen. Until tomorrow, it's going to be Esther chapter 10. And that's going to be the last chapter of this book. So we'll be going to the 18th book, the book of Job. And I hope that we're all going to have a sore time together. I always get to say I love you so very much because I love you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we we'll upload a new video or we get to go live. We have our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Get connected to us and your life will never be the same again. Don't miss out. Ciao, ciao.